I rise to speak on One Nation's Australia Education Legislation Amendment prohibiting the indoctrination of children Bill 2022. The purpose of this legislation is to give parents the legal right to protect their children from indoctrination at school. This bill is aimed at ensuring schools and teachers do what they're supposed to do rather than what many of them are doing today. They are supposed to educate our children. They are not supposed to indoctrinate them with Marxism. They are not supposed to groom them into believing they can be a boy one day and a girl the next. They are not supposed to recruit them as warriors for climate change or social justice. They are, these are not decisions that Australians must only make for themselves when they are old enough. At school age, they are not old enough. But they are very easily influenced and with their education system thoroughly infiltrated by activists and disturbing concepts about race, climate and gender grounded in disproven neo-Marxist theories, our kids are leaving school without the education they need. The system is infiltrated by teachers who themselves have been indoctrinated in woke universities. Only last week we saw a story in which university students' assignments were marked down just because they haven't included an acknowledgement of country. And it's hurting our kids. During COVID lockdowns, when schools closed down and parents had to help educate kids with the assistance of education departments, many parents were shocked to discover the indoctrination going on. They discovered their children were being indoctrinated with values and concepts that could not they could not possibly share. They discovered their children were being told they were evil, racist oppressors just because they were white and that they should feel ashamed and remorse for it. They discovered their children were being groomed into believing they could choose their own gender at a, women, at a whim, biology be damned. They found their children were being terrorised by climate change prophecies of doom. And this is what is happening, and I'll refer to an article here. What was happening in schools? Colouring in posters given to year one students at a New South Wales primary school accusing Australians of genocide have been called indoctrination and propaganda. The posters, promoted as part of NADOC week, at a primary school in central west New South Wales and displayed on a school's hall sparked a complaint by a parent and were raised by New South Wales Parliament by One Nation's Mark Latham. The posters depict raised fists and state, white Australia has a black, black, um, a black history, no pride in genocide, stop the lies, stop stealing our kids, Black Lives Matter. This is what's been told, taught in our schools by these people pushing their own ideology and their own agenda. In another school, a mother was concerned that um, at, uh, sending her child to um, these childcare centres until she realised, and then her feelings were feeling sideswiped by the news of Ida Hobbit Day at the daycare, I called the centre manager. I was informed that not only was Rainbow Day on the agenda, this is children we're talking about, under five years of age, but that LGBTQ material was a part of the children's curriculum. Give me a break. We're talking about a person's sex or their sexual preferences and we're, we're teaching the kids this. Let the children grow up and be adults before they decide what we're, they're imposing. As I said, you know, we are opposed to pedophiles grooming children for what they want to um, do to our children. Why is this any different? Why is this not grooming our children at a very young age into what we are going to, we are confusing them of what they should be or shouldn't be? whether male or female, their sexual preference. I'm sorry, that doesn't happen to a child in school age or at five years of age or even younger. That is something they will decide later in life. It's not up to our educators or babysitters or childcare centres or anyone to actually do, um, do this. And this has been pushed by the Greens for years and years. These, this is all Greens. And the Labor Party has done exactly the same, headed down this path. 
And what I was told years ago, 20, nearly 30 years ago, by people who came to see me in my office, lecturers at the university were told that being conditioned, they had to teach a certain way, otherwise they wouldn't have their jobs. And that is exactly what is happening. Apart from this student who actually had to welcome to come country, acknowledgement to country, which has been rammed down our throats every time you turn around at a meeting, on the aeroplanes, this has all been rammed down our throats. And the fact is that Australians are fed up with it. So until we actually change what is happening, these people are destroying our children's little minds. Childcare centres are there to look after our children, not indoctrinate them, and in our school system, not to indoctrinate our kids with this garbage that you fed to them. Schools are there to teach um, social services, geography, history, and they're there to actually teach the kids most of all, which they are failing, is how to read and write. And it's absolutely disgraceful that you want to push this agenda. And as his mother said, she went on to say, now I'm very supportive of adults making their own decisions about how they live their lives, but it is wholly unacceptable to use children to make a group of adults feel validated about their own decisions and sexual way of life. And that, how true is that? We are allowing these adults to validate their own um, feelings, their own sexuality, and we're pushing it on. Even here in Australia, where we have seen the debate about transgender, in the 2016 census, there was only 1,200 people in Australia who identified as transgender. But no, we've got to change our whole society. Those people who feel transgender or they have their, um, their issues, you don't change what is the normal, the norm, with the rest of the world or the country just because we've got to make a few people feel good about themselves or make them inclusive. This is about a common sense approach that we don't change the way of thinking for a few out there. Yeah. We don't change the way that because you, you don't know whether you're male or female, so, no wonder that so many kids are confused. I was just talking to my eight-year-old grandson and I said, are you told at school that you can be a boy or a girl? And he's an eight-year-old boy, I can tell you. He said, oh yes, we're told. We can actually choose whether we want to be male or female. We actually had a, a kid come to school five years in grade five and he dressed as a girl. And I said, how do you feel about that? He said, we all know he's a boy. We don't know why he dressed as a girl. So he said, and he said, I'm totally confused by it. That's what you're doing to our kids. And you're allowing this to happen. And what I say to, to parents out there is um, parents need to start to wake up to themselves. I think they are. Parents are uh, sort of saying to me, what can we do about it? That's why they're contacting Mark Latham, who's a voice for this, I'm a voice for this. Malcolm Roberts has been a voice for this. Very few people are actually speaking out about these things that really are standing up to, to try and push back. They had a real issue in the UK about all this that's going on, indoctrination of kids in school, even the climate change debate that's going on at the moment. The lies, the absolute lies, the agenda that's been pushed. And you're not actually um, telling people the truth to give them uh, an, um, a balanced view about this. Critical race theory has been brought into our educational system. Psychologists training must actually learn about critical race theory and they have to acknowledge that they are white and they, are you know, they have been the suppressors of the black race in this nation. That's what they have to tell them. And they... And this is what's been taught in school. And like I said, oh, the interaction from the Greens, and they're saying, yes, they should. You know, this is, all yeah. oh, right, this is really good. Thank you for the interaction, because I've been pushing this. You are misleading the people of this nation. You are teaching them stuff that is not the real truth. You're not giving a balanced view with it. You're pushing your own ideology and your own agenda, which is destroying our nation. Hansen, no wonder the people. Hansen, through me, through the chair. To the chair, thank you. So, 
Educators argue there is no need for legislation to protect children from indoctrination because school children can use their critical thinking skills. That's a cop out because students are no match for an adult using their position of power to instruct and the children can't answer them back. Parents have the responsibility to decide how their children will be educated, provided it is in the best interests of the children. Parents want their children educated, not indoctrinated. Firstly, the bill seeks to prevent indoctrination by placing an obligation on the Australian Curriculum Assessment and Reporting Authority to develop a balanced curriculum for states and territories to adopt. This is currently not the case in many subject areas, including climate. And I'll tell you why. The teachers are complaining they don't get the assistance or the help from the education departments in what curriculums. They are struggling to come up with curriculums. That's why they are, need help from the education departments. We need a broad-based curriculum for the schools to actually ensure that they are teaching um, our kids correctly. Yeah. We've, got, we've got teachers coming out of the universities that can't even read and write properly themselves. They're putting into the educational system and they, they are not up to the standards. And this is why we have a failure with many kids not being able to read and write. Our teachers need assistance, they need help, but we have to ensure they are up to the job of teaching the kids in our educational system. If they were up to the job, we wouldn't have the failure that we are having at the moment. Nearly half of our kids of 15 years of age are more than two years behind in the educational system of our counterparts in Singapore and China. Why? Why is that the case? Because they are not being properly taught. We have changed our curriculums from the years gone by when I attended school and it has, has now failed our kids. It needs to change. And I call on parents, get some backbone about you. It's your children we are talking about, the future generations of this nation. They must have the, the right to critical thinking. They must have the right to question this. We must have a balance of both sides of the argument. And as I went into this with the, about the, especially about climate science. Now, the curriculum says most agree that human activity is responsible for the majority of measured global warming. Climate science is far from settled, however, and with no one knowing the climate sensitivity to increasing carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Secondly, the bill seeks to tie federal education funding to the existence of state and territory legislation and prohibits indoctrination in schools. The gender fluidity theory is widely taught in schools, even thought, though it is a medical and scientific fact that inheritance from your father of a Y chromosome makes you a biological male which can never be changed, and inheritance of an X chromosome from your father makes you a biological female. So no one can actually change that. Even today, for people who ask, what is a female, and they're you know, tripping over their bloody lower jaw because they don't even know how to answer the question, what is a female? How ridiculous have we got to? The bureaucrats sitting there, are, um, oh look, I'm not going to answer that question. It might actually upset the Greens or the Labor Party or those, those ones who are my bosses that have got their jobs here because we push this ideology and this agenda. That's how stupid it's got to. So, you know, it's, it's up to us as legislators. And if we sit here and listen to the claptrap that comes out of the green's mouth with all this bloody rubbish that they're pushing about gender fluidity and identity and LGBTIQ and 39 plus, I don't know how many there is, I can't believe it, um, how many um, sexual identities they want to um, impose on people, but that the bottom, at the end of the day, we are male, we are female. We both play our own roles in our society, and that's who we are. Let the children grow up. Let them decide their own sexual preference, uh, whether it's or whatever they want, at an age. Don't even put them under the knife for this castration of destroying their bodies. That's allowed. And if you speak out against that, you actually can be taken to the courts or fined. Well, that's a ridiculous point as well. Children, let them be children. Parents, you know, 
grow up yourselves and be parents and take responsibility yeah. for, your, for your own children and what they're taught. And if you know, don't like what they're being taught, then go and visit the schools and the teachers and the principals and have your say. Yeah. Yeah.